What's going on? Welcome back to Trading Stocks. Today is July the 5th. I want to give you a quick pre-market update, go over some of the hot movers and where big money is gravitating towards today. Before we get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, you did have two data points coming out this morning, both higher than the forecast, one good, one bad. So unemployment came in at 4.1, forecast is 4%, and then non-farm payroll is 206 versus 191, the forecast. So the non on farm payroll very very positive if you ask me so yeah we'll just have to wait and see how the market does interpret this right now uh, at least the futures are slightly red but it did have a very quick spike up to around 55.4 uh, give or take so it's kind of all over the place you do see the fear and greed index recovering so yesterday oddly enough was like 44 so night and day difference so currently it is at 53 so under the neutral category so a lot of people's appetite for risk is going to be on the table today so definitely something to pay attention to starting off with sofi it is up slightly this morning no news no sec filings nothing along those lines so it is just piggybacking off of the broader market Ortex seems to be working today, uh, so I'll give you guys updates on that, but 18.15% of the free floats being shorted works out to be 188.5 million shares overall are being shorted. Anticipate shorts to be somewhat active because market makers and shorts definitely do have a financial interest to really push SoFi below 650 because that's a, a byproduct of options, so watch for that to hold. So yeah, uh, as of right now, it's just trading between this S1 and the pivot. So $6.28 is going to be the next strong support. And then $6.75 is going to be the next strong resistance, not counting options. So kind of just stay tuned for that. Zap is up roughly 57.3%. No news, no SEC filings, just it's going up for whatever reason. Somewhat heavily shorted, so it is on the threshold list. 66.01% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 943,000 shares overall are being shorted. Utilization, 96.76. So in essence, this is kind of what the market does like to squeeze. Um, so this could be one point why it is going up. But as far as this, it has to be just rumors or Maybe someone tweeted something out there, but tentatively, I don't see anything that could really justify this green day. If you are looking at trading this though, with it right now at $4.20, it is trading between this R2 and this R3. So just watch for 414 to hold as the next strong support. And then on the flip side, $5.34. In case you do not know, Bitcoin, or I guess just the whole crypto market, took a massive sell-off so i'll give you a quick overview of that so pulling up good old btc so bitcoin right now is sitting at fifty-five thousand, so down 4.12 percent did have a low of 53.5 so kind of crazy stuff so as a byproduct miners go down so no specific news or anything to justify why it's down six 0.29% aside from just crypto selling off. So something to kind of consider 25.31% of the free float is being shorted. So anticipate shorts to be very active today. And if you are looking at trading it though, with it at $19.51, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So 1813 is the strong support. 1983 is going to be that next strong resistance slash target, which given like i said going back over here people's appetite for risk that might really help this company to push it back into this pivot to this r1 so just watch today for that 1983 moving on nvidia so everyone's looking at nvidia especially more recently with right here uh, nancy buying 10,000 shares and that was on june the 26th disclosed on the second so because of that people are obviously now looking at nvidia in a different light as in essence it might continue to go up possibly shorts though are very much in disagreement because they have been increasing nothing significant so nvidia is not a squeeze play but you can kind of see shorts increasing so they're getting more and more bold anticipating that it might go down but if you are looking at trading it we're right now with it at 127 it is trading between this pivot and this r1 so 125 is going to be the next strong support 136 is going to be the next strong target slash resistance and it's somewhat been struggling to get and stay within this r1 and r2 range typically on a technical level um, whenever a stock 
fails to either break out or at least get above a very key resistance level, it consolidates. So that might be occurring over the this next little bit. So something to kind of keep in mind. And finally, last but not least, costs. And so ticker KOSS, it is up 37.72%. Aside from it just being a meme stock, there hasn't been any news, nothing like that. Just Roaring Kitty essentially is just, I don't know, all these heavily shorted stocks overdone. It seems to be back in 2021. So even though it's not heavily shorted, I've already brought up basically like two stocks that have a higher short interest than them. But cost does have 13.83% of the free float being shorted works out to be 727.67 thousand shares overall are being shorted and then utilization 79.98% so I think what happens is a lot of people might be looking for uh, what's that just value plays uh, or deep growth or whatever the hell uh, Roaring Kitty kind of focuses on I can't think of it at the top of my head right now but maybe this kind of fits that criteria at the same time this is one of those low float companies that the market generally likes to go up but moving on from here though there's no point talking about a lot of the key fib levels uh, support and resistance points because given the circumstances of where it is at it is above every single level so just tread with caution this could be a very good squeeze play continuing to go up but then again, one thing that I always point out, not to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but when GameStop ran up, there has to be people that buy at the top and that get stuck. So once again, uh, you guys do whatever the hell that floats your boat. But I, uh, this is one of those ones that might be too risky for me, but maybe... Uh, you guys, it might be perfect. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And one final thing, take advantage of this promo, gets you five free shares. Each share is valued up to $2,000. So this is a kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.